Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. For today's video, we're gonna be doing a little haul. I have been doing some shopping and I thought we would just go ahead and haul it because I like to watch hauls. I don't know about anybody else, but I am a fan. I love watching hauls and I like to see what's out there, what other people are using, so I can try it too because I have a shopping problem. Let's just be real. Okay, so we've got some goods. The majority of this stuff is affordable. There are a few high-end things, not too many, and it's not too, too crazy, but we're just gonna go ahead and talk about it because I share all things makeup on YouTube, so that's what we gon' do. Let's just start with skincare. Now, I actually already mentioned one of these products, the Ordinary, let me try again to say this, Naya Cinnamy 10% and Zinc 1%. And I mentioned this in my current favorites, like total brain freeze, I couldn't even remember what it was. This was in my current beauty favorites, I mentioned this in there because this has cleared up so many red spots and dark spots, sunspots, stuff like that on my face that I can't get rid of just from regular things that I'm using in my skincare routine. It's a high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula. This is so effing good. This little puppy is $5.90. I'm just pulling up everything on my phone so I can let you guys know how much everything is. Yeah, this is only $5.90. Like, so, so good. So good. I think I mentioned that I was using this every single night as my serum before I put on my moisturizer, but that's gonna bring me to my next product because this is also something that I ordered from The Ordinary. I haven't actually used this yet, but I'm gonna start using this at night and I'm gonna start using this, this Neos, I can't say it, the vitamin serum. I'm gonna start using that in the mornings and I'm gonna start using this at night. This is also from The Ordinary and this is called Lactic Acid. I mentioned that my skin has been kind of out of control lately. It's slowly calming down but it's been very finicky and I've been having tons of breakouts, just issues with my skin that I haven't been having. So I decided to switch things up and that's why I ordered some things from The Ordinary because number one, it's so affordable and I've heard incredible things about it. So of course I wanna jump on the bandwagon and try it too, especially if you can't beat the price. I don't use a ton of high-end skincare. Some things, yes, but the majority of my skincare is pretty affordable and I like to keep it that way just because ain't nobody got $100 to spend on a face mask. I mean, maybe some people do, but I don't. This is $6.79. This says that it's a solution for uneven skin tone, fine lines and wrinkles, and dullness and uneven texture. Basically, I just wanted to get it because of the fine lines because I am starting to get fine lines right around here. I'm getting them in here and I have them in my forehead because I actually have a really wrinkly forehead. You probably can't tell on the camera, but makeup definitely settles in my forehead lines. No matter if I bake or whatever, it just does. But what really bothers me is just my smile lines right here. I hate getting makeup in, like I just, I don't like them. I mean, nobody likes them, but you know, it's just, it's like, what are you gonna do? Cause that's just what happens to your skin as you get older, but nobody like wants fine lines. You know what I mean? I was using a retinol a couple of months ago. It caused my skin to become very, very dry and flaky. So I cut it out of my routine and I stopped using it. And I think if I remember correctly, when I did my research, this is a little more gentle than a retinol. I'm just finishing off some things right now and then I'll start incorporating that into my routine. So I'm excited to try something new. I'm hoping I can get my skin looking better. So let's just go ahead and move on to Ulta. I do have a few things. I don't have a ton of stuff, but I do have a few things that I wanted to show you guys. And the first thing is this blush refill this is from Ofra this is in the shade format and I buy the refills because as you guys know I love Z palettes and I'm really trying to kind of build a collection of Z palette blushes because I don't have a lot of blush refills but that is my next project I mentioned that in my Z palette video that is what my next goal is so I got this guy right here and this is just so my tone it's so bronzy 
and kind of shimmery, but not too shimmery. So I did use this one time and I really liked it, but you definitely have to go in with a very, very light hand because it's very, very intense. The next thing I have is this blush and this is from Flower Beauty. I've never tried anything from Flower Beauty, so I thought I would start with blushes because I love blushes. And this is the Powder Blush in Primrose Peach and it is so pretty. I actually have it on today. Hopefully it's not looking too harsh on camera, but it's so, so pretty. This reminds me of a blush I used to have from Makeup Geek called Infatuation, and I actually broke it when I was traveling. It was It's a little refill that I also kept in a Z palette, and it broke when I was traveling, and I never repurchased it, and this reminds me so, so much of that. I'm actually not the biggest peach girl. It's just not really my thing, but I'm trying to change. I wanna do, kind of step out of my comfort zone more with makeup, and I, I stick to a lot of the same tones and a lot of the same blushes, and I have a million blushes that are all the same color but different brands. So I wanted to do something a little bit different, and I, I'm thoroughly surprised that I like this. This is the first time I used it, and I love the way that it looks. It's so pretty, and I it just blended into my contour so nicely, and it's not like that bright peach. It's a warm peach, and I think that's why I like it so much. So that is really nice. I like that a lot. And then the next thing I have is this. This is the Highlight and Contour Beauty Sponge from Morphe, and I actually already used this. I used it two times. This was really affordable. Oh, I forgot to mention about the blushes. The Ofer blush, this refill was $12, and then the Flower Beauty one was $10, I believe. So yeah, just wanted to throw that out there. This was $7, very affordable for a sponge, and I hear so many good things about the Morphe Beauty sponge, and did it blow my mind? No, I have to say I'm not like, oh my God, this is so good. It is good, it's just, <sighs> It's a little bit dense for my liking, but it still blends out product very nicely. I feel like I just wish it was a little softer, but it's not a bad product. So I'm definitely gonna be using it more. I'm just kind of on the hunt for my perfect beauty sponge that I can use to replace the beauty blender even though I kind of don't want to replace the beauty blender. Like, I don't think I'll ever stop using the beauty blender, but also at the same time, I'm like, $20 is a lot of money to spend on a sponge, and if I can find other affordable things, I'm gonna use other affordable things, but I'll still continue to use that. So, I still have a couple of beauty blenders. Um, I just find myself reaching for my L'Oreal one more, and I don't know, that one was starting to get like really grungy and dirty, so I wanted to try something different, and I got this online because it's always sold out in the store, and what intrigued me was the side, and it both of the sides are like this flat, kind of cut out shape right here, and actually I really like that to go around my eyes, it's like so perfect because I actually always do my eyes and brows first, and then I do face last, so I really like this to kind of go around and just make sure to, that I can really clean up my eyeshadow, and then I also like it to go around my brows. It does that really nicely, so this isn't bad, I'm definitely still testing it out, I just wish it was a little squishier, but who knows, maybe it'll last a little bit longer because I find that my L'Oreal sponge doesn't last as long as the Beauty Blender. The Beauty Blender lasts me for months, and that one doesn't last quite as long. So we'll see, I'm gonna play with it some more. And then very quickly, I wanna mention these two things. I did mention them in my current beauty favorites, but I'm just gonna mention them because they were um, part of this haul. I just cheated and I started using them before I got all my other stuff in. But this is the e.l.f. Shimmer Highlighting Powder in Sunset Glow. Very, very pretty, very affordable. I believe this is only $6. It's a very like natural kind of um, glowing but not glowing kind of glow. I use this on natural makeup days. Then the next one is e.l.f. Also, this is the Champagne Glam Gloss. I mentioned this in my beauty favorites too. That is a very pretty, um, like a iridescent shimmer clear gloss. It looks very pretty also on natural days. I like to pair those two together when I don't have a lot of makeup on, like I just kind of have foundation and concealer and mascara. I like to reach for those two 
a lot. I really like them. And then, oh, let's talk about this. This is from Models Own. I have never tried anything from Models Own. I've heard a ton of stuff about them and I thought I would get this. This is the liquid metal eyeshadow from Models Own and I have the shade Rose Gold. This reminded me so much of the Stila Magnificent Metals, which is why I had to try it and this is so pretty. I haven't tried this yet on my eyes, but it is so gorgeous. Let me just show you a swatch and I think I got it on sale. It was under $5. It was like $5 or $4 and some change. I don't think I have a rose gold color in my collection so I'm excited to try that. And then I also have another lip liner. I know I'm like what am I doing with lip liners? Like am I a lip liner girl? I have no idea. But I got this also. This is the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner and this is in the shade London. And I mentioned that I'm really trying to get into lip liners, but to be honest, I just don't find myself reaching for it. Not that it's a bad product. These, I actually really like these a lot, but I just don't find myself reaching for lip liners. Like I forget about them and I don't use them. So I'm continuing to buy them. I really have to remember to use them. And when I do remember, I totally use them. I just. I don't remember, but this is a really nice one. I actually really like the color of that. The next thing I got was the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, and this is in the shade Abu Dhabi. Um, I used to use these back in the day when I was a broke college student because I could not afford like really nice makeup. I actually just put that right over the lip liner. This is really pretty, and I actually used to use the shade back in the day and I just stopped using them. I don't know what happened. I just totally forgot how comfortable these soft matte lip creams are. It was so comfortable and they're quite long lasting and for the price you can't beat it. So I decided to just go ahead and pick that up again. The next thing I got was this eye cream. This is by Mario Badesco. It's the Hyaluronic Eye Cream. I have never tried any of his eye creams before and I just ran out of my eye cream. I was using one from Arbonne that I actually didn't like whatsoever. It was so expensive and it did absolutely nothing for my eye wrinkles because my under eyes are very creasy and they're very wrinkly. Like I also have little fine lines around here. Again, it's just what happens. I'm almost 30. It's what happens when you start to get older. So I'm really like really, really trying to prevent like these fine lines and I just, it sucks. So I wanted to try something different. That eye cream that I was using from Arbonne was just, it didn't do anything for me. So I was really just trying to finish it off. I finally did. And I was using the Neutrogena Retinol eye cream. And I do like that. I've actually only used to use that until I tried the Arbonne one. I went through like three little um, tubes of the Neutrogena ones. I totally had every intention to purchase that again But I saw this on the website and I just wanted to try it It had really good reviews and I love trying new skincare and new products in general So I thought I would give something else another chance. I actually haven't dug into this yet. I don't even think it's Yeah, it's not even open. So I haven't tested it at all. I literally just ran out of eye cream like last night so I guess I'll be using this tonight. We'll see how this works. Hopefully this gets rid of some of these wrinkles. I'm so sad. And then the next thing that I have is this lip gloss. This is from Pure in the shade DIY. And I totally picked this up because of Tati because she raves about this like there's no tomorrow. I haven't tried this yet. So actually this is the first time that I opened it. And I guess we'll see. It's just a very, um, Pretty simple gloss. I don't even know if you can pick it up on camera. It's right here. It's kind of like a clear gloss, but with a hint of a nude pink. I actually got this on the Pure website because I did an Instagram collab with them for their Quick Pro Glitters, and they sent me a credit to use on their website, and I was like, I totally wanna try this. Like, I've been wanting to try this forever. I just, to be honest, I just keep forgetting to pick it up at Ulta. Number one, I have a bad memory, and I have to write everything down. Like, I actually have a list of things on my phone that I wanna try. And when I'm doing an online purchase or anything like that, I reference back to that list. And I just totally kept forgetting about this. So they sent me a credit to use on their website, which I was so appreciative for. That was so incredible because I totally wasn't expecting it. They just sent it to me 
out of the blue and it, I am so appreciative for that. That was so great. And thank you, Pure, if you're watching this video. I don't think they are, but if they are, thank you. That was very kind of you. So I decided to just go ahead and pick this up because I've been wanting to try this for so long. But I know it's a little pricey. Let me look it up on the Ulta website. Yeah, this is $18. So it's pretty small. But I was like, you know what? I have a credit. Like I said, I totally got it because of Tati. And every time I see it in her videos or every time she mentions it, I'm like, that is just so, like, it's so gorgeous. It looks so pretty. So I had to get it. And when they sent me that email letting me know that they were going to be giving me a credit, I was like, okay, this is what I'm getting. I am no longer putting it off. I remembered. So I just went ahead and got it. Next thing that I have for you guys is a little mini haul that I did on ColourPop. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that ColourPop is my favorite lip brand ever. I love ColourPop. I actually started using them like back in the day, not back in the day, but um, a couple of years ago now when they first launched, before they even blew up all over the internet, I started using ColourPop and I don't even remember how I came across them, but I remember I saw the price and I saw the colors and I was like, let's just test a few things out. And I ordered just a couple of things. I think I just ordered like three or four things and I fell in love with it ever since and it just seems to get better and better. Actually, what prompted this online order was I love Sada E, AKA Karen. I'm sure you guys all know who she is. I love her videos and she is so funny. So she did a whole dedicated video to her favorites from ColourPop and it was so long. I think it was like 30 minutes long. And as soon as I saw it on my subscription feed, I was like, yes, I was so happy because I'm such a ColourPop junkie. I was like, yeah, if those are her favorites, those are my favorites. So I ordered a couple of things that she was talking about and then I also ordered some other things that are uh, just things that I came across on the website. The first thing is I got a backup of my favorite red lip. This is in the shade Arriba and she did a collab with ColourPop and I'm actually gonna show you guys the open one because I don't wanna open this one yet until I need to. This is my favorite red liquid lipstick of all time. It's six dollars, can you believe it? So it is so pretty, it is just the most flattering red ever. Actually, my favorite red used to be Kat Von D Outlaw and I still love that red, but ever since I got this, I'm sorry Kat Von D, like I still love Kat Von D and I still use that red, but I just like this one a little bit more and it's way cheaper. So I picked up a backup of that because I don't ever want to be without that. So the next thing that I got was this right here. This is the Ultra Satin Lip in the shade .0 and this is actually what I have on today. When I looked it up on the website, it looked very gray, like very cool toned grayish and I didn't have anything like that in my collection which is why I got it. It wasn't quite as gray as I was thinking it was gonna be. It looked a little more gray on the website. I actually really, really love this. Like, I love this so much. I was a little hesitant to get it because like I said, it did look very gray but I was like, girlfriend, you need to step out of your comfort zone. So I did and very happy with this purchase. The next thing that I got was this Ultra Satin Lip and this is in the shade Strip. I wore this, I think I wore this the other day. I went to a concert and this is so pretty. It's kind of just like a pinky nude color. I really like this. And then the next shade that I got is 951. This is from the I Love Sada E collection. I actually meant to order this when her collab first came out. I wanted to try the Curvy Gloss, which I love, and I just ordered some other random things. And I meant to order this then, but I think it was either sold out or I forgot to get it. But this is just my tone. Like that rosy mauve shade, so my color. So I'm so happy I finally remembered to pick this up. And then I have this one right here. This is called Frickin' Frack. This is also a satin lip. This is more of like a berry. See, I'm not too, too into berries, but I'm trying to get more into them. Just because, like I said, I want to step out of my comfort zone, but it has a little bit of red in there too. This looks a lot like Lolita, but maybe not as rosy. This might have a little more purple in it, so that's really pretty. I actually... Cannot wait to try this. I think this would be really pretty with maybe like a gold eye or maybe just lashes and this. The last one that I got is uh, Mamacita. I also meant to order this when my sister was here a couple months ago. She ordered a ton of stuff from ColourPop 
and I ordered some stuff with her order so we could get it all together and I totally forgot to order this. I wanted to order this then and I just totally forgot. See, I'm telling you, I have such a bad memory. I literally have to write things down that I want to try. So I meant to order this back like during Thanksgiving when my family was in town. Totally forgot, so I finally remembered this time. And I already know that I like this because I tried my sister's and I was like kicking myself in the face for not buying it. So, so pretty. It's like the epitome of a fall berry liquid lip. And then the last thing that I got from ColourPop were these Luster Dust. I think I saw this in Karen's video. It's one of their um, loose shimmer highlighters and this, people, this is so pretty. I have not used this on its own. I've only used this over the highlight that I already have on, but oh my god. God, this is freaking gorgeous. Hopefully you guys can see it. I don't know if you can see it. I can't tell in the viewfinder, but hopefully you can see how sparkly it is. This is so, 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 so gorgeous. I'm so happy I got this. I don't have any loose highlighters. And like I said, I'm just trying to get into things that I don't normally gravitate for. So I've really been wanting to get into like just different things. And I think these were only $7. They do have other colors. I believe they had eight colors. ColourPop actually had posted a video when I believe when they first launched these and they swatched like all the loose highlighters that they had. And the other ones are pretty, but they just didn't really look like something that I would reach for. This is just like that like champagne, a little more on the pinky side, but it's definitely a more wearable color for me. So that's why I grabbed this one. I think there was one other one I wanted to try, but it looked a little too icy. Like I think it was, I, I don't know. I just think it was a little too like silvery for me. So I just got this. I wanted to see if I liked this first because I find myself buying products like liquid highlights, I never use liquid highlights ever. So we'll see. We're trying to be more open-minded with makeup. So yeah, that's actually it. It wasn't like the biggest haul, but I wanted to do this haul, number one, because the majority of the stuff was very affordable and I wanna keep it affordable or as affordable as possible. I do love my high-end makeup and you know, I love my bougie, more expensive things, but I also think it's important to mention affordable makeup as well because not every single guy or girl out there can spend a million dollars on one product so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching i know this was so casual i'm actually wearing my workout clothes because i had an early doctor's appointment this morning I had to go get some blood work done my alarm went off i rolled out of bed and i had to be fasting to get my blood work done i had no coffee I had no food. I just rolled out of bed. I brushed my teeth. I threw on my workout pants and this hoodie. Let Charlie out really fast. I got ready all in like 10 minutes and just walked out the door, did my blood work and came home. And the first thing I did was make myself a pot of coffee because I am not one you want to be around when I don't have coffee. I'm gonna just go ahead and let you guys go or else I'll just talk your ears off. So again, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it if you took the time to watch this video. Stay tuned for future videos because I have a little giveaway. It's nothing too crazy, but I do have a little giveaway coming up that I will probably mention in my next video. I'm waiting for it to get here. It's just a little something I wanted to do and stay tuned for that. Um, go ahead and subscribe before you leave. If you want to, if you don't, it's okay. I won't get mad. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.